what do you expect, right? The pose before the video starts. That's just how I do it. Of course, I got that beautiful sunlight shining through the FC Sneaker Factory windows because you know what? It's another fucking hot day when it comes to the summer heat. But I'm filming this very early. I just took a shower, was relaxing, watching some Olympics. And I said, you know what? I have some time. Let me go ahead and drop some sneaker profiles for the beautiful people out there. The fellas and those beautiful ladies. Oh, the ladies that get my heart pumping. Each and every single one of you, I appreciate all of you, my subscribers, my true followers, the smart people, the winners. When it comes to the sneaker YouTube genre, I, pe I appreciate each and every single one of you for coming on into the FC Sneaker Factory. As always, I thank you from the bottom of this cold heart. But normally, right, you would always catch me walking into the FC Sneaker Factory, but not this time. Not this time, even though we are doing a beautiful Nike running segment when it comes to my specific collection. You see that behind me? 20 fucking plus years in the game. Been doing this for quite some time. I did not fucking pick up this over COVID, the years of COVID. I didn't pick this up 10 years ago. No, I picked this up a very long time ago. I've been in the game, like I said, 20 plus years. Because you know what? When it comes to this sneaker YouTube genre, I am the fucking lion. This is my jungle. And the sneakers are definitely my prey. And when it comes to YouTube, I definitely use, to, use YouTube as my pedestal to stand it up to stand myself up and definitely say that this right here this sneaker youtube genre on, on here on youtube is definitely mr wonderful's playground because you know what i play around when it comes to sneakers i have so many damn ne sneakers god i can go toe to toe with the best of them and I'm not just talking about Nike SBs. I'm not talking about runners. I'm not talking about Yeezys. I'm not talking about all that stuff. No. My collection is fucking diverse. And I have a variety when it comes to my collection. I don't just collect one specific Jordan. Or I just don't st stick strictly to Jordan. No. I have a wide range when it comes to my collection. And I, f I feel like everybody should be doing that. Not just stick to one shoe. Please don't do that. You're only robbing yourself of, of so much more that you can have when it comes to sneakers. So when it comes to this, my channel, I wanted to bring a true fucking sneakerhead's perspective when it comes to the shoe. Shoes that this person actually loves. Shoe, shoes that not. I'm just not buying shit because it's early and I can do an early review and hopefully and pray to God that I get all these followers and I get all these subscribers and I get all these views. No, fuck all that. I don't give a shit. Whether or not I get a ton of views, I don't give a shit if I have a whole bunch of subscribers. I really don't. Used to a long time ago, but not anymore. I don't care. I do this for my own entertainment. I do this because, like I said, I wanted to bring a true fucking sneaker edge point of view when it comes to sneakers that they love, that they like, or they want to preserve or wear. Not for any other reasons. I'm not getting paid to do this. I've been doing this for a long time, and I'm still not getting paid for it. And because, you know what, I don't care. I have a fucking job. I make a good amount of money. I don't need YouTube money. I'm doing this because, one, also to entertain you. But also, two, I, get, I forget a lot of the shoes that I have in my collection. So sometimes it's always good to see, oh, yeah, I do have that shoe. Or, yeah, I could pair it up with this outfit. So I do look through my profiles. I do look through my shorts to figure out what's a good shoe to wear with this specific fit that, I'm, that I would want to wear that specific day, okay? That's why I do it. Of course, since the beginning, I built a huge catalog of shoes, a huge catalog of profiles, and this one right here, we are on sneaker profiles, 358. We're inching closer and closer to the 365 mark, closer and closer to have a shoe for every fucking day of the year and let me go to open up the books right here because the books is about to be open for sneaker profiles 358 and there it is a great shoe a shoe took a while for me to get on board not a while but just like maybe a couple weeks i did not go after this shoe initially but then when i saw it i was like you know what i need that i need that shoe 
The boxing doesn't make sense, but the shoe does. Great shoe, great colorway. This is the only colorway I ever wanted and I would only get because I feel like they mass produce not this colorway, but a lot of different colorways when it came to this specific shoe. You see the thumbnail, right? It's no surprise. This is a, a shoe that you could read it right there. A shoe that you can maybe go look it up on YouTube or uh, Google it. You can do that. But I hope you waited so you can see my beautiful profile on this amazing shoe. Thumbnails are always amazing. I love my thumbnails. I create them all myself. But really quick, before we even get into this sneaker profiles, the doors are open for you beautiful people to go ahead and come on in. Come on in and witness fucking greatness in that 4K fashion. My true followers, I appreciate you. The people are just randomly coming in. Hey, I appreciate you for just coming in. Hopefully you stay for the entire full length of this video. I really appreciate that. But really quick fit check. Normally, like I said, you catch me walking in. I'm not a big fan of this fit. Or not the fit. I love the fit. But I'm not a big fan of how it fits on me. Because I had to buy this shirt in extra large. I actually had it when it first came out. When I went to the concert way back in 2007. Had the blue version. Sold it. Got rid of it. Made a profit. Even after I wore it. And then now I want to, I was like, you know, what? I want that shirt again just to have wear casually around the house. So that's why I'm wearing it. I have no plans today, not plan on doing anything, not plan on running errands or having any cheerleaders over. I'm just wanting to relax and watch the Olympics. So I said, you know what? It's early morning. Let me go ahead and throw it on. And I was like, damn, it's still fucking big. Even after I washed it, I believe once already, I'm going to keep, continue to wash it, hopefully shrink it down. But it's a great tee. I purchased this, I want to say last year. Um, purchased it. I actually even did a, a Floyd um, Floyd's pickup on this a fit actually um, but I'm gonna stand up really quick show it to you like I said I'm not a big fan of how it how it fits I'm not I do not wear oversized clothing because that's just not how I roll but I'll go ahead and stand up but quick G-Shock 6900 this is the burning red I love this watch 30th anniversary when it comes to G-Shock does have gold accents and all that great stuff but let's take a look at the shirt right here. 2007. This is a vintage tee, I would say now. Black woven shorts. So just chilling. I love the, the back hit as well. Great back hit. But that, that's all you're going to get because I just don't like how big it feels and how it looks. Not comfortable. Only if I'm relaxing. I'm not making any content. But the reason why I brought this out too because I had a request. I had somebody that tells me, hey, wear it. So, you know what? I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'll wear it. All right. So, let's go ahead and go into the shoe. Bring it back. Amazing shoe right here. A shoe that was designed by Tinker Hatfield. A shoe that was sketched, that was mocked up, but never actually came out. He actually just put it in the vault. Never released it until 2015 is when this shoe came out. This actually came out on Air Max Day. Back in 2015 on March 26, okay? So I've had this shoe for quite some time. I want to say I picked this up probably like maybe a few weeks after it released. Like I initially said, I just wasn't a big fan of it. But then I I started looking at it. I was like, you know what? I, I really do like it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick it up. And I especially love a specific portion of this shoe. And I'll show it to you in a little bit. But let's take a look at the box. The box to me does not make any sense. I don't understand why this box is so big. It doesn't need to be this big. You do have the Air Max Zero because this is what the sneaker profile is on. But look at the box. Old school box uh, with the textures and the colors going on. But just too big. I don't know why it's so big. I'm going to show you the tag though. Because the tag is where it's at. Nike Air Max Zero QS White Mid Navy RFTBL, I'm saying, I'm thinking that's blue, Hyper Joe right there. Price tag on this is $150. Let's take a look at the inside of the box. I did not pick this up for retail. I per I went to resale market and I got this on eBay at this time. And it says on the tissue paper, just your translucent p tissue paper, it says the one before the one. I'm sorry. Th yeah, the one before the one. And it does have Tinker Hatfield signature on it. So we all know I love the Air Max one. A great shoe. An amazing shoe, I should say. Not a great shoe. An amazing shoe. 
But this one right here was actually sketched prior to that one. This, so that's why they label this one the Air Max Zero because this was actually the first Air Max to be designed prior to the Air Max One. But no one ever seen this until 2015. They saw the sketch, they saw how it actually looks in hand and, and on foot when they actually released it. Now we are doing, or I should say I'm doing, sneaker profiles on, or I'm sorry, sneaker profile 358 on the Nike Air Max Zero. This is in that blue hyper, or I should say rift blue hyper jade. And that's what I really love about this shoe. That jade portion of the shoe just really stands out to me. But this is also known as the Midnight Navy. All right, so look at this this shoe. Amazing. I love the style. This shoe just a beautiful look. We'll go more into like the different angles on this shoe and then also the materials right now. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Right here is a nice mesh type material when it comes to the toe box. I love it. It is in that nice Midnight Navy color. Right here is a like a... I want to say it's yeah it is white at first I was gonna say it's gray but what's making that different color of that gray material or gray look is the fact that the navy underneath so this right here is more of a translucent white but you do have like a you do can see the navy underneath it so that's what's giving it a different type of color when compared to like this part right here this is white as well right here and this is more of like a coating when it comes to the material right there but it is in that white that white coating goes through all this right here goes through the lower part of the lace holes but also through this um middle portion of the lateral side and then it's traveling through the rear part of the shoe all white midsole very clean i love that white midsole and then it even goes into right here but this is like a plastic little or i should say more of a rubber type material the air is in actual gray, and then you have that jade air, that jade air unit, and that's what I really love about this shoe. Right here, this swoosh is a 3M swoosh, but it is also in that midnight navy color. Gorgeous. And then when it comes to this side panel right here, you do have like these perforations going on, which I really like. You, It's not like going through the, the coating, that white coating, but it's just, you do see the divots when it comes to um, the fill of it so that's a really cool touch right here these are metal when it comes to the lace holes which is a nice a nice look up top right here got that midnight navy nylon material traveling to the rear part and then in the rear part right here even in this small portion going towards the rear part it is in that mesh that midnight navy mesh material white um, midsole up top right here nike in gray but it is in a 3m material and this is that white coating going through the rear part. And then right there, just above that, is that nice navy nylon material. Medial side. Medial side is damn near identical as to the lateral side. There's no, really no different cuts when it comes to the materials or when it comes to the color. It, it is basically the same thing that you're getting on the medial side when compared to the lateral side. All white midsole. I love the white midsole. And then also the all white outsole. The jade air bubble, which I really love right here, this rubber portion right here. Do you have the air in gray? That little uh, knit material right here is in that navy color, but it slows down right here in the lower half of the medial side. Do you got that nice midnight navy nylon material? This translucent white coating when it comes to this portion right here on the medial side this window you still got that 3m swoosh in that midnight navy a little piece right here when it comes to like a i want to say like a shark tooth right here when it comes to that um visible nylon material love that and then you got that trans that white translucent coating going through this portion right here of the shoe when it comes to the medial side you see that nice midnight navy mesh material when it comes to the toe box all these nice metal they're all painted in that midnight navy color but the metal uh, lace holes let's take a look at the front part beautiful front part of the shoe look at how gorgeous that front part is definitely love the tongue i definitely love the shoelaces that they gave us on this 
Let's take a look at the outsole. I have wore this shoe, so it is dirty, but you do have the black toe when it comes to the outsole, all white when it comes to the majority of the center. Nike embossed right there. Do you have that exposed jade air unit? I absolutely love that. And then the black heel portion of the shoe. What do you think about it? Gorgeous, right? I mean, even after all these years, 2015 still looks amazing. From what I remember when I, I haven't worn this in like a good amount of time, but when I did wear it, felt good. Felt good on, on foot, very light. But let's take a look at the aerial view because that's my favorite part is the aerial view of this shoe. Look at that. Gorgeous aerial view. Definitely could see that midnight navy mesh material. The white coating right here just above that. And then you have this midnight navy nylon tongue. Got the beautiful shoelaces in the midnight navy color, but you also have the white stitching going on in there, which is very cool. I love the tag. The tag is in a different kind of material, like a sponge type material right there. But it is in that midnight navy. And then you have the Air Max in white, and then you have the beautiful zero in that jade color. I love that. Look at that all white ankle collar. This is a slip on shoe, right? There's no, um, like a sock liner, I should say, sock liner shoe. All in white, the jade insole, the Tinker Hatfield signature all in black. And then you have 326, which is Air Max Day. The actual deed of that so that's a pretty cool touch and that's in red so i love this shoe right it's a lot different from your standard air mag zero remember when they came out with this shoe they made so many damn colorways it was just ridiculous i felt like everybody had an air mag zero because they were probably like selling them like wherever like cheap you can find them but this one right here this is the first one that came out and this is the one that i really wanted because this is the first colorway um, not too many people had this shoe. I mean, yeah, they had the model, but they didn't have this specific one right here. So this is the one that always meant the most to me. And this is the only one that I ever wanted when it comes to the Air Mag Zero. You hardly ever see Air Mag Zeros now. It's pretty sad. Um, for a season, though, it was like literally everybody was wearing this shoe. But after quite some time, it just kind of fell off. And I'm sure you or many, uh, many people out there have forgot about this shoe. Beautiful shoe though, a great running shoe because it's really light. That's why I put this in my running segment. But what do you think about that one? Did you already forget about the Air Max Zero? Did you forget about it came out back in 2015? Did you not care? Or did you have a, the Air Max Zero? Drop a comment down below. Let me know what colorway you had if you did have it. Let me know if you had this one, the first one, the first colorway that was ever per given to the people that to purchase because we all know there's a ton of different other colors out there but that one right there is this is the only one that fucking matters drop a comment down below let me know i'd really appreciate that here we go that concludes this one when it comes to this sneaker profile of an amazing nike running shoe in my collection behind me the air max zero the midnight colorway the hyper jade colorway whatever you want to call it but just a gorgeous shoe you know what i'll catch you in a couple days but in the meantime tomorrow catch the reel here i'm sorry the short here on youtube i'd appreciate that and you know what i know the beautiful ladies always tell me and i know you guys want to say it too as well but after every date even if we're just hanging out just went to go grab a milkshake or whatever a boba they always say at the very end, the beautiful ladies, they always say, Floyd, Mr. Wonderful, you are too. Damn.